Hello friends, welcome to Trish Tech Institute and in today's uh, safe storage tutorial series episode I'll be discussing about how you can replace an object storage device or OSD from your safe cluster and for today's demo I'll be using a uh, chef version Quincy so that is a community edition but same similar steps you can follow for uh, other enterprise editions like Red Hat uh, safe storage 5 or 6 or even on SUSE safe storage also so let's go to the demo and see how you can replace the OSD so I have logged into my uh, one of the safe storage node so for doing all the operations I'll be using safe ADM shell so that is that correct method in newer versions of chef to perform any operations so as I was telling you uh, host ls if I do so you can see I have three node cluster so chef one chef two and chef three so all these uh, operations you need to perform from either from a admin node or from one of the monitor node of your cluster so uh, let me do chef osd df3 so as you can see in my chef one node i have osd0 and osd3 uh, so let's say i want to replace osd3 here so for doing that what i'll be doing uh, chef org so i'll be using chef orchestrator to do these things org osd rm so i want to delete three so here you need to add one option called replace so if you don't use this option replace what it will do it will delete the osd along with it will delete the osd id and it will clean up the crash map also so you cannot retain the existing setup so that's why i am using replace option so that it will not clean up the id and it will not clean up the uh, crash map so that once you add the new disk it will inherit all those settings by default so along with that i am using option called jap so i am using jap so that once i once the disk this rm or replace operation is done it will delete or clean up the underlying old disk so that you no need to go and manually again perform lv remove pvg remove all those things so this operation will be done by safe orchestrator so once you've done that you just enter and if you want to check the status so you do rm uh, status so you'll see no operation so that means already it is done because in this osd i didn't have any pg so that's why it is cleaned out very fast else you may see like it is draining the pgs and all those things so you do save osd df3 so here please notice instead of deleted or something you see it is saying as a destroyed now i should have a replacement disk available in my system so let me run lsblk so you can see i have another called hdc so hdb was initially used so as i did jab so that's why it is cleaned out here so i need to use hdc so it's very easy similar like how you add you do chef org daemon add osd so i'm adding it on chef one node right so i have to give uh, chef one dot example dot com please uh, take this from your chef host uh, org host ls output so if you see fqdn there take fqdn if you see only short host name take the short host name so now you keep the disk name so host name colon the disk name so you hit enter so it may take some time and then it will say like it is added back to the uh, cluster so let's wait for this command to complete So as you can see it is uh, completed and now if i do chef osd df3 you will see again osd3 is up and added back so now if i do chef volume lvm list you will see osd3 is back and the device is hdc previously it was hdb and if i do chef uh, osd dump you will see it is already up and it is already in in the cluster so like this very easily you can replace a failed osd from your chef cluster so hope uh, you have liked this uh, tutorial video and uh, if you really like it please uh, press the like button and also share it with your friends and colleagues and uh, all whoever you know so that they also get benefit from these videos 
and if you have not subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe to it so that and also press the bell icon so that you get a notification of upcoming videos and you can watch them so thank you thanks for your time we'll see you in our next video